Hey everybody, this is Majority RS Pro Condenser Microphone. Now I'm not a shill, period. Not asterisk, and not with a butt. I bought this microphone, well three times actually. There is no affiliate link, I don't have a merch store, I currently have no Patreon, and you can see from my subscriber count that as of filming, this channel is nowhere close to getting any advertising money or any revenue of any kind. I'm not making this video with the intention of making money, period. I have a job. I'm not hungry. If that ever changes, I'll let you know. Now the reason I make this video and videos like it is just to give back. If you want sardonic cynicism, well then check out my video about cube shelves. So all I ask is that if you have one of these microphones, if you get one, if you learn anything just by listening to me, love it or hate it, just leave a comment and pay it forward to the next person watching. Knowledge is power, I want you guys to gain some power. Now all that said, let's take a look at this microphone. The model number is MIC-RSPRO-BLK, it has a three year warranty. I bought this kit from Amazon for $15, $15 US, uh, plus a dollar in tax. $15 is lunch money. It's a quarter pounder with cheese value meal with ice cream. $15 is close to what Best Buy will charge you for this USB printer cord. And I don't know why it's not micro USB. So go check Amazon. If it's still $15 and you have the money and you're even remotely interested in getting a USB microphone, then go buy it and come back to see why you just did that. If it's back up to $25, then watch this first and think about it. If it's 40 to 50, eh, it's, it's a fair price, but there's a lot of options to consider in that price range. But $15 is almost worth it for the case this thing comes in. Almost. It's built like a kid's pencil case or lunchbox. It looks like a Pelican case, but it's not one. I do like the look of it though. It even has this weird detail uh, where a Pelican case would have like a pressure relief valve, it just sort of has this little screw off piece. I don't know what it's good for, the threading doesn't match any of the camera or audio equipment that I have. So it's pretty useless, uh, if you know what I can do with it, let me know. But it's still a detail that they added that, that added to the cost of the case. They put work into it, it's not the cheapest possible thing. The top has this thin lining of open cell foam. It's similar to like the cheap acoustic foam you order online. Now the microphone itself, we'll get to that. It comes with a shock mount. It's like a typical cheap bungee shock mount, but this is made of metal. I've had plastic ones before. And the bungee is this matching red color, which looks pretty nice. It also comes with this foam cover. There's a hole cut out in the top so you can reach the mute button. Here we have part of the stand. The interior foam is kind of this cheaper, slick packing foam. It's like what they might pack a monitor or a TV in. It's disposable. With everything in the kit fitting nicely into it, I would probably keep it. It's good for travel or if you just drop the thing. The instructions are all nicely printed. Uh, they're actually in color. Here's it with the specs. You can see what they claim the frequency response to be, relatively flat, and it's a cardioid pattern for the microphone. That's pretty typical for something like this. The pop filter is pretty standard. It's two layers of mesh. I've got the majority logo. It's readable on both sides. It's flexible. And then it'll just screw right onto the stand. Now pulling out the base of the microphone stand, the first thing I notice is that it's heavy, like really heavy. It's made out of cast metal. I don't know if you can hear that. It feels like it's built like a dumbbell. It must weigh a couple pounds and there's some foam on the bottom of it so it doesn't scratch up the desk. So this rod here just screws into the base like this. There's a little ring on the top. So you screw on the shock mount and it, it's a little wobbly and you tighten it down and then you can tighten the lower ring to hold it into place or you can just screw it down all the way. It doesn't really matter. Uh, then you can bend it to real basic positions for the most part and kind of anywhere you want in between. And the microphone just slides in right like that. Mute button on top. Uh, the front of the microphone is the logo. And you can bend it sideways if you want. Uh, it's kind of tight. I'm having trouble uh, with this little screw eye. Here, let me try to let me try to get that. There we go. Can loosen it. Can see the range of motion here. Uh, I guess you could mount it upside down if you really wanted to. There's no height adjustment, but you can 
play around with the angle to sort of change the height. So the microphone itself feels really nice. It's got this smooth metal case on it, this red detail. So we can just unscrew the bottom like this. You can slide that off and look at the electronics. Uh, you know, fair amount going on here. We got the USB controller and the uh, circuitry for the microphone, also for the mute button. There's an LED in here. It should turn red or blue to let you know whether or not it's muted. And then that slides right back on, it's keyed. So the majority logo goes in the right place, just on the front, which you speak into. And then you just screw it back on. And that's what you get in the box. Now I'm gonna take it back to my desk and do some audio tests on it real quick so you guys can hear what it sounds like. Okay, now it's time for a sound test. I'm sitting in a relatively small office about a foot away from the microphone, which is a comfortable speaking distance for me. The gain for the microphone is set at 75% in Windows. I'm going to adjust the gain in post to normalize everything, but I'm not going to add any equalization or other effects. The majority RS Pro has a max sample rate of 16-bit at 48,000 Hz. Now here I am talking up close to test the proximity effect. Here I am talking from about 3 feet away to give you an idea of how it sounds at a distance. Here I am talking from about 3 feet away to give you an idea of how it sounds at a distance. Now here's a demonstration of some keyboard noise. I have a mouse and keyboard on the desk directly behind the microphone. So here's some handling noise when you move the stand around. Now you'll notice noise whenever I touch the USB cable. So what I've done is I've Clip the cable right here with the pop filter. That will isolate this loop from the rest of the cord, which should help. Okay, and now I'm going to demonstrate the mute. See, I'm talking and I press the button. And now I'm back. You see that the light changes from blue to red whenever it's muted. Let's try that again. Just so you can hear the noise the button makes. It, it, it's hard to press the button in without bumping or touching the microphone. So here's a demonstration of the cardioid pattern. I'm talking to the front and I can rotate it around to the side and all the way around to the back as I keep talking around to the other side. And now I rotate it and we can talk directly into the top and then we can set it back down. There we go. All right, and that's about all I have for this microphone. At $15, I think it's really easy to recommend. Even if you don't like the sound of the microphone itself, it has that nice stand, it has that case. And if you hate the mic and the stand and the case and everything in this kit, you still have something you can use as backup, or you can give it away to a friend or someone else who's just getting started and they just need a condenser microphone at all to bring up their audio quality. So thanks for watching. This is the Majority RS Pro Condenser USB Microphone that I got from Amazon.